Paul Alex, a former detective turned multi-million dollar entrepreneur, shares his inspiring journey from having no financial literacy to building several multi-million dollar companies. He grew up in a Hispanic immigrant family in the San Francisco Bay Area and lacked direction in his youth. However, he had a desire to be responsible and make a change in his life. At the age of 15, Paul started working at Six Flags Marine World and realized the importance of having a job and feeling fulfilled. He went on to work various part-time jobs and eventually landed a corporate job at a cleaning company. He worked his way up to become a sales manager and district sales manager, earning close to six figures. Despite his success, he felt unfulfilled and unhappy. Paul decided to pursue a career in law enforcement and became a police officer. This decision surprised many people around him, as he had no prior interest in law enforcement. He went through the rigorous process of joining the police academy and graduated, becoming a sworn peace officer in Oakland, one of the most dangerous cities in the United States at the time. As a police officer, Paul experienced intense and dangerous situations, including car chases and arrests of armed suspects. He excelled in his role and received commendations for his work. His experiences in law enforcement gave him confidence and leadership skills. However, a critical incident involving a fellow detective's fentanyl overdose made Paul realize the dangers and limitations of his job. He started questioning his future in law enforcement and began exploring other opportunities. He had a desire for financial freedom and wanted to make a bigger impact. Paul stumbled upon the idea of starting an ATM business and quickly took action. Within two weeks, he purchased his first ATM and began finding locations for them. Initially, he faced challenges with some locations underperforming, but he learned from the experience and made adjustments. Paul's mindset shifted when he read a book called Digital Millionaire by Dan Henry, which introduced him to the world of digital marketing. He saw the potential to make money online by selling his expertise and knowledge. He invested in a digital marketing course and started his own program teaching others how to start their own ATM businesses. Within a year, he generated $1.7 million in revenue. Encouraged by his friend, Paul decided to leave his law enforcement career and focus on growing his business full-time. He sold his house and moved to San Diego, where he continued to run his ATM business remotely. He hired his friend, who had also left law enforcement, to join his company. Together, they scaled the business and achieved significant success. Paul's company, ATM Together, now has over 2,300 clients nationwide and generates over $1 million in revenue each month. He attributes his success to transparency, sharing his journey, and providing valuable information to his clients. He believes in the power of networking and building relationships, which has helped him connect with influential people in the industry. In addition to his ATM business, Paul ventured into the credit card machine industry. He partnered with Robert and John, experienced entrepreneurs in the merchant services industry, who introduced him to the cash discount program. This program allows business owners to offset credit card processing fees by offering a cash discount to customers. Paul sees great potential in this industry and is excited about the opportunities it presents. Paul continues by explaining that he started his career as a police officer at the age of 18. However, he always had an entrepreneurial spirit and a desire to create something of his own. He started investing in real estate and other businesses while still working as a cop. One day, Paul came across a book called Digital Millionaire by Dan Henry, which inspired him to take action and pursue his dreams. He realized that self-education was the key to success and began investing in courses, programs, and mentors to learn more about entrepreneurship. Paul's first major success came when he started a company called ATM Together, which provided ATM machines to businesses. He used his knowledge of real estate to find prime locations for the ATMs and built a successful business around it. 
Within a few years, ATM Together was generating millions of dollars in revenue. However, Paul didn't stop there. He saw an opportunity in the merchant services industry and decided to start a new company called Merchant Task Force. He explains that every business owner pays a fee to allow customers to swipe their credit cards, and his company offers a cash discount program that eliminates these fees for merchants. In return, Paul's company earns a percentage of the revenue every time a customer chooses to use a credit card. Paul emphasizes that self-education and taking imperfect action are crucial to success. He encourages aspiring entrepreneurs to do their due diligence, research, and learn from experts in their field. He also advises them to believe in themselves and not let others' opinions dictate their actions. Throughout the podcast, Paul shares his passion for entrepreneurship and his belief in the power of taking risks. He emphasizes that life is too short to have regrets and encourages listeners to pursue their dreams and execute their ideas. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.